Bisho Katoliki Welcome to Matamis Recordia Hospital Buruburu Clinic for Holistic Medical Services. This is Buruburu Medical Center which is part of Mata Hospital and uh, at Buruburu we essentially offer services offered in Mata Hospital. We are located in the first floor filling building above Peak Mat. In Buruburu we have general consultation Monday to Friday, Saturday and Sunday they are still available. We still have specialists. On Tuesday and Thursday, we have our gynecology clinics running uh, from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. We have a pediatrician clinic running at, on Wednesday at 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. We normally have a wellness, which we normally do from Monday to Sunday. Every day, feel welcome, you can come. Experience the difference in our wide range of quality, responsive and compassionate healthcare services. Uh, doctor's consultation services, uh, which is a general doctor in the uh, outpatient unit. You, we also have laboratory services and uh, pharmacy services. On uh, particular days of the week, we have uh, specialized clinics, which include the physician clinic, where we have our hypertension and uh, diabetes patients followed up. And then uh, we also have the obstetric gynecology clinic, which is run on Tuesdays and on Thursdays. We have the pediatric clinic, which is run on Wednesdays. And then we also have the ENT clinic, where we have the ENT doctor coming in, and uh, that is run on Fridays in the morning. There is also a pediatric surgery clinic, which is also on Fridays. Our child welfare, we normally do them on Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. We have our ENT clinic Friday 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. We normally have nutrition services on Tuesday to Thursday and we have extended our radiology services from Monday to Friday to Saturday nowadays. Initially we were running up to Friday but currently going up to Saturday. We deliver all our services with... We do not discriminate against everyone, anyone, either on race, on religious grounds, or disability. You are all welcome to receive services at our branch. Be assured of privacy. We normally keep to our ethics. We are so compassionate to our clients. Integrity is all over. So when you come, we feel you, and that is why you can see nowadays we are running, like every Friday, we are having a special clinic. Currently, we are running the breast clinic. Next month, we are coming up with fear colon screening. So don't forget we are Christ-centered. When you come and we don't segregate because you are a Christian or a Muslim or a Hindu, we treat every client as equal as any other. Hello, everyone. Good morning, and thank you so much for joining this health discourse that is powered and brought to you by Capuchin Television Network in partnership with Mata Misericordia Hospital and the Society of Radiography in Kenya, SOC. Now, uh, every year on the 8th of November, uh, we mark the world, uh, we mark uh, the world radiography day and uh, this day brings together radiographers, radiologists and radiography technologists as well as uh, professionals in related fields to celebrate and create awareness on the importance of radiographers and their contribution to the healthcare continuum. And that's why today we bring you this discussion ahead of uh, the celebration on the 8th of uh, November with me here, Sasha Elizabeth. And as the world continues to grapple with the challenges of COVID-19 pandemic, it is extremely important to recognize and acknowledge the importance of medical imaging in the healthcare sector, not just uh, uh, during the unprecedented times of the pandemic, but even on a daily basis in different aspects 
of uh, patient care. Now, with me in studio present here are experts who are active contributors in the field of radiography and radiology. So allow me to introduce them before we proceed. Ah, let me start with the gentleman, Mr. Mamati. Please tell our viewer who you are and uh, uh, the, what you represent today. Okay, thank you very much. Welcome our viewers to this show and thank you, Capuchin and Liz, for having us with you here. My name is Anthony Mamati. Mm -hmm. I'm immediate former SOC president and also a double up as a health economist. So thank you so much and thank you for making time to be with us today. Uh, my namesake here, <laughs> Elizabeth, it's good to have you. Thank you. Uh, please tell the viewer, introduce yourself to our viewer. Thank you, Elizabeth. Uh, and good morning, viewers. My name is Elizabeth Maswili Osonyaga, and I am a radiographer, diagnostic, and currently I am the manager of Mata Hospital Radiology Department. Uh, having attained uh, training as a diagnostic radiographer as well as health system manager. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming, Ms. Elizabeth. Welcome. We have uh, Ms. Victoria right here. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, Elizabeth mm -hmm. and viewers. Uh, my name is Victoria Otsuna Koi. I am the head of Department Radiography and Imaging at Kenya Medical Training College, where we actually do training for the radiographers. Wow, it's good to have you. It's, yes. it's good to have you feel Thank welcome. You. Now, you. dear viewer, is there anything in the radiography or the uh, medical imaging that you feel uh, you, you'd like to appreciate or you'd like it to be improved in some way? Please talk to us and be part of this conversation. Drop your questions, comments, and feedback on our social media platforms. We are live on YouTube, Facebook, and there's also a link on our Twitter handle, uh, our, our, our handles are Capuchin Television Network across all our social media platforms. You can also text or call us on 0717-424-866. Use the hashtag IDOR2021, hashtag Capuchin TV, hashtag Asasha Elizabeth. We'll be sure to sample your feedback as we move on or continue with this discussion. So welcome and let's get started. So, uh, f to start with, let's try to understand uh, the difference between uh, radiography and radiology. There are people who really uh, confuse the two, and there are some uh, bloggers who are really writing about uh, ra the World uh, Day of Radiology instead of uh, the World Radiography Day. Mr. Mamati, I'll start with you. Okay, thank you. Th that's a very nice question. It's not, I think, a confusion, mm -hmm. but it's, it's a thin line. Both are practice in the industry of radiation medicine, mm -hmm. but it's like journalism and editors. Mm -hmm. We both serve the patients using radiation, mm -hmm. but at different scopes. For radiographers, they do the actual procedures. That is, do the practice, uh, see patients, do the procedures. Then radiology mm -hmm. is a subspeciality of medical officers, so they interpret the image. But at the end of the day, we work as a team mm -hmm. primarily to serve the patients. Mm -hmm. So there should be any confusion, but for our viewers, what they need to know is that Today is World Radiography Day, mm -hmm. celebrated primarily mm -hmm. uh, because of the discoveries that were done several years ago, around mm -hmm. 100 years ago. Mm -hmm. But we as a team, radiologists, radiographers, and all other healthcare workers, mm -hmm. we work as a team towards serving the patient. Thank you so much. And you have touched on my second question. Yes. Why uh, World Radiography Day? Why do we celebrate this particular day? So, so World Radiography Day has a history when Professor Conrad Rontigen did the discoveries way back on 8th November 1895. Mm -hmm. So that is the day he found the so-called X-rays and it became from there that we have now X-rays, CT scans, MRI and all those diagnostic modalities mm -hmm. that help us see what is in the human body. Mm -hmm. Actually in the industry we call it the eye of medicine because now we have to see mm -hmm. it's the opening towards your body so that we can now see and treat you. So that is why we have World Radiography Day. Mm -hmm. Why do we celebrate it? Because over time, the development of medicine has brought a lot of uh, fear, a lot of new technologies, and therefore we take such moments mm -hmm. just to advocate 
to create awareness mm -hmm. and also to just help people understand that this is what is available this is what it can help mm -hmm. and in this context this year because there has been a pandemic mm -hmm. so again we are looking at COVID-19 but we don't want to forget where we came from we have got other diseases like cancer mm -hmm. and many other diseases so we are talking about the role of a radiographer in this pandemic but keeping in mind this being uh, October having just coming from October which is uh, breast cancer month mm -hmm. we are extending it to do screenings to create also awareness of the same. So it's merging the two just to give us a chance to create advocacy and awareness at the same time educate people on the same. Quite, uh, quite important there. I like the fact that uh, you seek also to clarify on uh, the kind of uh, uh, the new developments in the data radiography, the field of radiography, so that uh, the, the, the patients or uh, the public can get to know why we need uh, that change, right? Yes. Ma Mrs. Muswili, Maswili, rather. So, what's your contribution as Mata Mr. Kodi Hospital before I go to the Society of Radiography in Kenya? What's your role and contribution on this day? Okay, as uh, Mata Hospital, we normally uh, carry out uh, screening of the breast every October mm -hmm. for many years now. Mm -hmm. And the month of November, we also do this kind of a screening in November. Mm -hmm. But looking at uh, this uh, just coming from November and getting into, uh, sorry, October, getting to November, we felt that we could partner with the Society of Radiography mm -hmm. so that we get these professionals to contribute in helping us diagnose the patients mm -hmm. and even also provide free ultrasound services which has come together with the suppliers so that we can be able to make it a wider scope mm -hmm. in terms of giving this uh, this this uh, this this awareness creating this awareness to the public therefore matter has been in it for so many years and uh, a society of radiographers this year partners with us for the first time mm -hmm. noting that radiographers are trained as uh, the my colleagues have mentioned mm -hmm. they are trained in colleges like KMTC and now JKU at where we are offering BSc in radiography mm -hmm. these people once they have uh, left their training they come to matter to seek for jobs and that is how we married these two uh, these two organizations for this particular event okay. uh, and therefore this this month mm -hmm. uh, we will not now do octo or we will not now do prostate alone we've combined the two and I, just to clarify what my colleague said, mm -hmm. World Radiography Day is uh, celebrated on 8th of November, which is on Monday. And across this country, radiographers will be celebrating in their stations. Mm -hmm. But because MATA was also having its screening on 6th of November, and 6th is on a Saturday, that is why we are doing it on 6th. Thank you so Thank much you. for that clarification. Yes. For the clarification. Yes. Uh, Madam Mus Mus Maswili. Hey, that's a... Uh, let me stick to Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's All right. Better. Yes. Uh, Miss Victoria. Yes. How significant is this day uh, to you as the head, to you and the entire team as the head of uh, radiography and imaging at KMTC? Thank you so much, Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. Now, World Radio Radiography Day is significant for us, especially we are the training institution mm -hmm. where we give birth to the radiographers. Absolutely. And therefore, they mm -hmm. need to be introduced mm -hmm. into what is radiography. How did it start? Mm -hmm. It is as far as 1885, mm -hmm. you know, but now they are coming in as the professionals. So when we get in our students, the first thing is to introduce them to what it is mm -hmm. and what it means. And of course, we need to look at radiography as a very specialized area mm -hmm. because we're using ionizing radiation. And we know that in many areas, ionizing radiation is dangerous. So our students must be aware and be aware of how to protect our patients. And Thank so you. as we mark this uh, matter day, on 6th, on 8th, Monday, all our students will be in Kisumu. And wow. very nice for this year because Kisumu was actually the beginning of our training in Kenya. Wow. For our radiographers. Specifically for radiographers? For student radiographers oh, okay. of KMTC countrywide mm -hmm. are all going to Kisumu. 
Wow. On eight, on Monday. <laughs> I hope they get that message. Uh, those uh, who maybe would like to be part of you and uh, maybe contribute in one way or the other, or is it just for radiographers? So, of course, we're saying, like my colleague has said, mm -hmm. we work hand in hand with all the other medical specialities. Mm -hmm. We have the lab, we have the doctors, we have over, everybody comes up on board. Mm -hmm. But we are the eye. We are the ones who see inside the body. Mm -hmm. You know, where others look outside, we look inside. And therefore, it's important that while in Kisumu, we'll all be there. Plus our clinicians. Mm -hmm. The hospital is part of it. And we'll do a walk, of course, for advocacy and awareness. Thank you so much. Yeah. Now, we have a... Uh, 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 diagnostic and therapeutic imaging yes. right so now when we talk of uh, diagnostic uh, imaging what do we uh, diagnostic uh, interventions in uh, radiography what do we refer to mr. Mamati okay thank you Elizabeth Th that's good to help uh, our viewers and many others to understand mm -hmm. that when you walk to hospital and it's also good I'll add something on screening mm -hmm. because screening you do it in mass mm -hmm. but diagnostic is now specific mm -hmm. now back to your question when we talk of diagnostic and therapeutic diagnostic is primarily to find out what is creating problems in your body mm -hmm. the cause of disease the cause of alarm therapy now is now going ahead and using radiation for treatment it's very interesting that radiography is one of the only industries where radiographers are able to be in the whole continuum of care mm -hmm. from diagnostics, follow up of a patient, and at the end of the day, treatment. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, in diagnostic, if it's prostate, timely again with that question, that we are able to assist in finding through, let's say, ultrasound, CT, MRI, mm -hmm. to see where the lesion is, how big is it how far it has spread the body, mm -hmm. then now you are sent to another team who are cancer specialists. Now there again you will get therapy radiographers mm -hmm. who are doing treatment using radiation. So, so that is the difference that at the end of the day it's a whole continuum of care. Mm -hmm. And it does not only affect cancer treatment, also things like orthopedic. Mm -hmm. When somebody breaks a leg or something, they, are, they check out where the fracture is, extent of damage, then they go for surgery, we help in the surgical work, mm -hmm. positioning the bone and everything. Then, once that has been done, the patient comes back again for review, for follow-up. So, diagnostic is to check what is in the body. Mm -hmm. And the therapy is now at a different using radiation. Oh, wow. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mamati. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, now, across the globe on this day, mm -hmm. uh, national and international associations and societies carry out different activities in commemoration of this day. What activities are lined up for this day on your end? Thank you, Elizabeth. Uh, for this year, the Society of Radiography Kenya, mm -hmm. and I would want to clearly differentiate mm -hmm. between, uh, between uh, radiology and radiography. Radiography is specifically X-rays. They use X-rays, equipments like X-ray machines mm -hmm. and CT scan. That is X-radiating devices. Mm -hmm. The radiology incorporates all other modalities that are uh, today used in diagnosing diseases like MRI, mm -hmm. uh, ultrasounds, and nuclear medicine. That is all, it's wider. But radiography is specifically X-rays, and that is why we celebrate it as Radiography Day. And this is celebrated internationally, mm -hmm. as you have said, mm -hmm. but this year we as technologists, people who have been trained to administer radiation, people who have been licensed by Kenya Nuclear Regulatory Authority, mm -hmm. according to the laws of Kenya, CAP 243, we are the people who are licensed to administer radiation. And that is why we are creating awareness to the public, because uh, we would want them to know that we are the ones who are licensed to provide radiation to the public. Mm -hmm. the radiation is dangerous, as my colleague had mentioned. It can cause cancer and other things. Mm -hmm. but, and therefore, when it is not properly used, it is dangerous. However, it is very, very necessary still to administer radiation for treatment, as my colleague has said again, mm -hmm. and for diagnosis, because doctors will not be able to treat without knowing what they are treating. Mm -hmm. Therefore, this year, MATA has partnered with the Society of Radiography Kenya, 
and the Society of Radiography incorp Radiographers incorporates the trainers, incorporates the workers in the field, mm -hmm. and incorporates uh, the secretariat, the people who are working in the office of the Society mm -hmm. of Radiography. And uh, MATA will provide the grounds on Saturday, which is tomorrow. Mm -hmm. we, will, we will provide equipment, but these equipment have been donated by our very supportive suppliers and in that note I would want to appreciate Maidre Kenya through Nairobi Enterprise. Mm -hmm. I would want to appreciate, uh, uh, I would want also to appreciate GE, mm -hmm. General Electric Kenya, they have also given us equipment and Philips um, uh, Healthcare, mm -hmm. you know the big Philips and also Meditech system, that is Siemens suppliers in Kenya. All these companies have given us their equipment to use. Awesome. And okay, so now awesome. what will yes. you be uh, screening or testing tomorrow? We will, be, we will be specifically screening breasts and prostate. Mm -hmm. And we have a team of our consultant doctors in Mata and a team of other doctors, nurses, uh, highly skilled people, sonographers mm -hmm. from various hospitals because we are a body called SOC. We have various hospitals across this country who have actually volunteered free service tomorrow to give back to the society. Mm -hmm. As exactly. matter is giving back to the society, society I mean to the community, society of videography is giving back. So tomorrow, ultrasound will be free in the field at the matter hospital, mm -hmm. ultrasound of the prostate and ultrasound of the breast only and consultation is free and you'll be finding consultants on the ground for free so take advantage so you uh, will there be any other uh, services uh, offered maybe on radiology besides uh, prostate and uh, uh, breast cancer uh, not tomorrow but the hospital will be running as usual mm -hmm. so those will be referred by doctors for other services they'll be but this particular one will be basically only for those two Screenings, eh? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So, so just, just maybe to, to, to top up on what you said, and mm -hmm. she's done it brilliantly. Mm -hmm. But primarily, part of uh, above from the screening, mm -hmm. we are doing advocacy. Advocacy, yes. because we want knowledge to go to the public mm -hmm. to understand. Yes, not every Kenyan will be able to come for the tests, yes. but we want every Kenyan to understand that you can have prostate uh, prostate screening, mm -hmm. you can have breast. So above. Up and above the, the, the screening, there will be times where people will be being trained, they will be being educated. Mm -hmm. You know, health literacy is, is a new concept. You might have this level of education, but you don't understand much about health. Mm -hmm. So we'll also take this chance to, to educate the public and the masses that yes, radiation is dangerous to this point, but when you meet experts, mm -hmm. this is how they help you. So primarily advocacy and awareness mm -hmm. on the role of radiography in this. And something else also in the pandemic how do we come in that is also very very key all right so, now yeah. what's your expected outcome uh before i go to okay. uh, mrs victoria what's your expected outcome at the end of the day so at the end of the day primarily once we've done awareness we expect to have sent out the message mm -hmm. we expect people to to get the message that yes uh we are having screening and this test People don't have to go out of the country mm -hmm. to go for this test because that is one of the biggest fears. Mm -hmm. The other fears among us, the public has been these tests are not available mm -hmm. and sometimes they are painful or so expensive or what. So once they know that, that is something we expect at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Something else at the end of the day, we expect that uh, people will come and have the tests done on them. And once the test has been done, uh, we hopefully expect that none will have the severe cases. Uh, that is usually our prayer. Mm -hmm. But for those who have undergone the test, they'll get bills of health that will now tell them the status of their body. And something else that we'd want also uh, to expect by the end of the to day tomorrow is that we shall have helped matter, show, demonstrate mm -hmm. how they partner. And this is a bigger end to show the pub public-private partnership, mm -hmm. where private institution can partner with the state government to just mm -hmm. offer service. So, so it's, it's a whole continuum of things to demonstrate public-private partnership, mm -hmm. to pass information, and to also create awareness for the test that we'll be doing. Yes. Thank you, That's Mr. Right. Martin. So, Thank you. I just wanted to add something mm -hmm. about why prostate cancer and breast and cancer. Breast cancer. Mm -hmm. We know that these are the most dangerous of the cancers, the killers mm -hmm. of the cancers. However, 
discovered early, they're the easiest to treat. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. And we actually use ultrasound. We can use ultrasound, which is available. It is cheap. It's available, and we thank the government for doing the MSC yes. uh, um, project, where we have these machines all over the country. Yes. Someone can walk in. It is non-ionizing radiation, mm -hmm. so you can do it. Yes. Okay? And that is like the first entry examination. Okay. When you discover it early, the treatment is easier. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. The earlier the diagnosis, the easier it is to treat. Thank you. All right, quite commendable uh, right there. It's time to take a break. We'll be right back with more on uh, this uh, World Radiography Day. Stay tuned. Capuchin TV, Kitambulisho Katoliki. Welcome to Matamis Recordia Hospital, Buruburu Buru Clinic for Holistic Medical Services. This is Buruburu Buru Medical Center, which is part of Mata Hospital. And uh, at Buruburu, Buru, we essentially offer services offered in Mata Hospital. We are located in the first floor filling building above Quick Mat. In Buruburu, Buru, we have general consultation Monday to Friday. Saturday and Sunday, they are still available. We still have specialists. On Tuesday and Thursday, we have our gynecology clinics running uh, from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. We have a pediatrician clinic running at, on Wednesday at 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. We normally have a wellness, which we normally do from Monday to Sunday. Every day, feel welcome, you can come. Experience the difference in our wide range of quality, responsive and compassionate healthcare services. We have very highly skilled and qualified staff running the units. Uh, we offer services including uh, doctor's consultation services, uh, which is a general doctor in the uh, outpatient unit. You, we also have laboratory services and uh, pharmacy services. On uh, particular days of the week, we have uh, specialized clinics, which include the physician clinic, where we have our hypertension and uh, diabetes patients followed up. And then uh, we also have the obstetric gynecology clinic, which is run on Tuesdays and on Thursdays. We have the pediatric clinic, which is run on Wednesdays. And then we also have the ENT clinic, where we have the ENT doctor coming in, and uh, that is run on Fridays in the morning. There is also a pediatric surgery clinic, which is also on Fridays. Our child welfare, we normally do them on Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. We have our ENT clinic Friday, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. We normally have nutrition services on Tuesday to Thursday, and we have extended our radiology services from Monday to Friday to Saturday nowadays. Initially, we were running up to Friday but currently going up to Saturday. We deliver all our services with utmost diligence, integrity and equality. We see everyone at the Buruburu branch. We do not discriminate against everyone, anyone, either on race, on religious grounds, or disabled people. You are all welcome to receive services at our branch. Be assured of privacy. We normally keep to our ethics. We are so compassionate to our clients integrity is all over so when you come we feel you and that is why you can see nowadays we are running like every friday we are having a special clinic currently we are running the breast clinic next month we are coming up with clear colon screening so don't forget we are christ centered when you come and we don't segregate because you are a christian or a muslim or a hindu we treat every client as equal as any other. Mm. All right.
right, welcome back, and we are really glad that you're still uh, watching, still keeping us company. We are talking about uh, the World Radiography Day, the International Day of uh, Radiography, a very important day in the medical field and uh, in the public uh, generally because uh, we uh, always seek out medical attention at one point or another in time. And uh, in studio, I have a representative from uh, the Society of radiography in Kenya, Mr. Baraza Mamati. I also have uh, uh, Madam Elizabeth Maswili from Mata Misericordia Hospital, who, who is the head of uh, radiography and uh, radiology department. I also have uh, Victoria Coy from uh, 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 the HOD of uh, radiography and imaging at the Kenya uh, Training Medical Training College. Welcome back, uh, and uh, maybe before we proceed, allow me to read. Uh, some of your feedback. Uh, Theo Chang's Peter says, I celebrate all, uh, who are these radiographers? Yes. Uh, Ront Jen's family, yeah, Chris Odinga. Uh, Chris Odinga says, radiographer, uh, following from Nairobi, Kenya, he's also a radiographer. Thank you, uh, Chris Odinga. We have Cesar Barare, informative show, uh, watching from Nairobi. Thank you, Cesar, for watching. Hassan Mwangare, God bless our profession. God bless it indeed. Masi Mutunga tuned in from Kisumu. Thank you, Masi. Joy Mbugwa tuned in from Juja. Maureen Chepkiroi. Uh, information and awareness is very key. Good work. That's World Radiography Day. Uh, indeed, uh, they say information is power. All right? So... Uh, we'll continue sampling uh, more of your feedback, keep them coming. And we were asking, what is it that you appreciate uh, in the field of radiography and imaging, especially in Kenya? And what is it do you think that should be done best or uh, should be improved somehow? That's the question. Remember, hashtag is I do radiography, I D O R 2021. You can hashtag Capuchin TV, hashtag. Uh, MMH, that's Mata Misrecord Your Hospital, hashtag Society of Radiology, uh, Radiography in Kenya. So we are back uh, to our second session and uh, we move on swiftly. All right, so maybe before we proceed to the details about uh, tomorrow's day, yes. please let's get to understand uh, what's the role of a radiographer because that's a question that uh, is lingering in most of our minds. What role does a, a radiographer play, especially in this pandemic uh, time? Mr. Mamati? So, so thank you, thank you. I'd just like to pick a cue from where you started with our viewers. Thank you, Caesar. Thank you, Joy. Thank you, Massey. Thank you, all of you, for viewing and following up. This is very good and very mm -hmm. encouraging. Mm -hmm. um, the role of radiographer, primarily in the pandemic, is, is something very important for people to understand. Mm -hmm. Because when you fall sick, once they have done triaging, you are either sent to laboratory or radiography department. Mm -hmm. And when you are sent there, the radiographer will do procedures to see what is causing problem into your body, mm -hmm. be it pain, be it bleeding. So in this context, for the reason for the pandemic, and we are coming up, we are, we are, we are hopefully working out of the COVID-19 pandemic. Yeah. Patients who are being sent to radiography department to check because primarily COVID was affecting the chest. The upper so respiratory. The upper respiratory. Mm -hmm. and, and they were coming to the radiography department and procedures would be done, like chest X-ray, CT scan, and echocardiography. A, a case in mind is what Kericho District, Kericho County Hospital, we still have the district in mind. Eh? <laughs> it's we it's never gone, yeah. So Kericho <laughs> County and, and the governor of Kericho, please, we are not uh, taking your county down. We appreciate the work they did. Mm -hmm. They came up with the protocols. And because the test for COVID was very rare, unique, so they decided to do protocols for CT and they were helping patients because now they'll be able to see how far the disease has spread mm -hmm. and then they'll make a decision, how do we manage this patient? Mm -hmm. So one of the primary roles is to do those procedures to help us know the extent of the disease in the body. Mm -hmm. That is very key. The other part is also when the patient comes, we help avoid transmission. We do it in a professional way and prevent transmission either to our people or to other healthcare workers. So we also stand at the door of the field because when the patients come, if we don't open for other physicians and other colleagues who are in the healthcare to see inside, they want to manage. Mm -hmm. So it's a very, very critical role. And this is not um, without uh, appreciating all other healthcare people mm -hmm. who contribute at the end of the day. 
but when we are talking of radiography, we are the people who see what is inside. Then now we usher it into our colleagues who are able to give treatment and other administration. Mm -hmm. Also, we talk to the patients about, we, we educate them. We tell them now, you are here, now this is what you are going to do. And so that when they go to the next level, because counseling and, and guiding patients is, is a healthcare continuum process at every level you are guided. Mm -hmm. So in the pandemic, we did the procedures, we advised them on what to do so that they can get better health healthcare outcomes. Mm -hmm. yes. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Mr. Mamati. Yeah, do you have something to, yeah, add, on to, something to add on to that? Yeah. I, I mean, apart from, as you talk about the pandemic, we know that we have had a big, you know, like it has to be for COVID-19, mm -hmm. like instant treatment, otherwise then delayed treatment, the patients have an issue mm -hmm. and basically what happened towards as we went in mm -hmm. we realized that instead as we're waiting lab tests and all that CT scan done could actually give directly you know the doctor an okay mm -hmm. to start treatment or delay treatment you know so mm -hmm. that again was the role of a radiographer yes. that they knew you don't go for chest x-ray now for COVID-19 let's go CT you know, and get the diagnosis snap on because, of course, upper respiratory tract, we get specific. Wow, thank you yeah, so much, uh, you. Um, Mrs. Victoria. Uh, back to you, namesake Elizabeth. Uh, what activities will precede the screening, cancer and prostate uh, uh, screening? Okay, tomorrow we are going to have a walk uh, in the area, in the veterans of Mata Hospital, uh, preceded, preceded by a bird. A bird of DSU. What is bird? Eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for that. It's a band. It's a band. The police bird will be ahead of us, mm -hmm. and we are going to do a walk so that we can create awareness to the public around the Mata Hospital. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we will get to the field, and our doctors, renowned consultants, will be talking to the patients who, I mean, to the clients who will be waiting to be to be screened by the doctor mm -hmm. or to be to consult the doctor so they are actually going to be informed through talk shows by doctors mm -hmm. tomorrow where will where will the work commence uh, the work will commence from Mata hospital mm -hmm. the gate d road in south b all the way to car and general and back through the gate a at what time from 7 a.m uh, sorry from 9 a.m mm -hmm. up to about one hour 10. 9 to 10, okay. we'll be having the walk. All right, no, but maybe after the walk, that's when you start attending to uh, the patients, right? No, no. Not please. Yeah, after, I going. want to... It's ongoing as, a, as yes. a, the walk also, like, yes. it, does it happen concurrently? It will happen oh, concurrently, okay. and uh, in our experiences in the past, mm -hmm. our clients or the patients tend to come very early in the morning. Mm -hmm. Those or the public, they are not sick really, mm -hmm. uh, because we haven't they are sick, mm -hmm. so they start coming as early as 7 a.m. So this work will be ongoing as we are doing our function as mm -hmm. the Society of Radiography. Thank, thank you for that yes. clarification. Yes. So what's the procedure for receiving the services? Are they open to everyone? Does one, uh, do we have uh, really to book an, an, a slot online before you can be attended to? Yes, I want to clarify here mm -hmm. that we have created a link which you, you are seeing below this screen. Uh, and you can do a prior booking in case you do not manage because you also know that there are those people who have not been able to who will not be able to be here they will walk in mm -hmm. and we will attend to them however those who do prior booking will have the opportunity of being seen early and avoid queuing all right yes okay now dear viewer you can just imagine imagine the a world without uh, radiography or imaging how would it have been let me just uh, give uh, my guest briefly a few seconds to tell us uh, uh, the, the the milestones that you've covered by through the invention of uh, the different inventions in the field of radiography and uh, imaging let me start with uh, <laughs> madame victoria thank you thank you elizabeth mm -hmm. yeah that is um important for mm -hmm. us to know mm -hmm. that we started with x-rays just a tube a patient and a cassette mm -hmm. that's what we called in the dark room but we have moved from that we have gone to mri mm -hmm. we have gone to ct which is very specific then we have moved to ultrasound 
we have moved to interventional radiology and um, we now can actually, even the machines mm -hmm. are able to actually give us less radiation to the patient mm -hmm. and better images. We have actually gone digital from analog to, comp to digital, mm -hmm. you know, so it's like you take an image and you get it on screen. Time has also been reduced. Mm -hmm. We don't have dark rooms anymore. So, I mean, we cannot, um, the hundred years in terms of the process that we have taken. And then, of course, better training of our people, advancement. We have worldwide, we actually have people who move from degree to PhD. Mm -hmm. We now have radiographers who have PhDs, and that means that there's more research, more improvement mm -hmm. in terms of how we deliver our services. Thank you so, so big much. Improvement. <laughs> Thank you. And Elizabeth, <laughs> yes. uh, when she was speaking, I'm just reminded, you know, this movie, King Lion, mm -hmm. there, there's somebody who created um, a, a small clip, and he was saying when, when, when the king, I don't know if you've watched it, where he's speaking to the son, the yes. small lion, yes, is asking, what is this happening there? Mm -hmm. Then this, this dad was telling him that's where all people from hospitals come and get the imaging. Mm -hmm. Then he asked, what is glowing over there? He said, Simba, that is where nuclear medicine is. You should never go there. Mm -hmm. And, and it's, she's basically saying that. Mm -hmm. Because we've moved now from seeing structures of the body, now we are able to see even molecularly what is happening at a metabolic level, mm -hmm. like what the president launched the other day at the Kenyatta University Teaching and Research Hospital, mm -hmm. Pet City. That is how fight has grown. In fact, studies in the healthcare industry put it that radiology and imaging is one that has observed the highest technological advancement mm -hmm. over time. Because now we are moving into robotic surgeries. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, we are, we are not talking of going in to operate. And that is a talk for another day. Mm -hmm. We'll come back and discuss that. Mm -hmm. People go in just for, with cyber knife and they're able to treat the work in, work out. Mm -hmm. Interventional radiology does many other magical things. So the, 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 the extent of growth and development is at an astronomical level. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. What now we can see in, in our industry, we make this joke that it's no longer until DNA puts us apart. It's until ultrasound 3D. Because we can literally see the face of the baby mm -hmm. inside the womb. Mm -hmm. Now oh. we can be able to see yes. this is Anthony's <laughs> baby. So, so that is the, uh -huh. the, the extent. Uh -huh. That's the extent. It, it's magnificent. Yes. Wow. It's just mind-blowing when you indeed, look at it. Indeed yeah, it but, but those are talks we can have other day. But it's just primarily to tell us that now yes. we are saying people cannot have these things we have in a slopes of Mount Elgon, where I come from, <laughs> that you <laughs> gonjoyake hejulikani. Now we can be able definitely to say what mm -hmm. you're suffering from. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is mm -hmm. what radio radiography has done. That's quite uh, profound and uh, remarkable indeed, uh, the steps that uh, uh, we have made in the field of radiography mm -hmm. and uh, imaging. Yes. Now, in our first session, uh, you mentioned something briefly about uh, uh, how risky uh, it can be uh, the radiation yes. uh, during imaging. Yes. So now, uh, this has built uh, some form of skepticism on the side of uh, uh, the, the patients. So what, what's your take on that? Is it a misguided notion? Can it be considered as a, as a double-edged sword or a, a mixed blessing? So, so maybe I'll take it then. My okay. colleagues can also take okay. it. Okay, all right. You know, uh, it, it's interesting that uh, the, same, the, same, the same radiation that diagnoses cancer can be used to treat. Mm -hmm. But this is where the difference is. That when it's done by trained professionals, mm -hmm. we are trained to use it mm -hmm. without causing the damage. Exactly. You see, everybody can drive, mm -hmm. but it takes, a, every, every, every fish can float on water, mm -hmm. but it takes a fish, a live fish to float upstream. Yes. So a, anybody can talk about radiation and medicine, but it takes a trained radiographer to do it rightly. Mm -hmm. Yes, radiation is dangerous. Mm -hmm. But are we asking the public to fear? No. Mm -hmm. We are telling them we don't want people have to have irrational fear. Now we've got trained people, people being trained by Madam Koi here at Kenya Medical Training mm -hmm. College, mm -hmm. at Jomo Kenyatta University, and many other institutions all over. Mm -hmm. Now they are trained, they know how to use radiation 
peacefully and safely. Mm -hmm. Th that is the message that we want to tell people. That when you are asked to go and have an x-ray, don't fear. Mm -hmm. Go there, you'll get professionals. Mm -hmm. Our colleagues outside there are top-notch professionals. We are really proud of them, of the work they are doing, and every sacrifice they are making. Mm -hmm. You'll go there, you'll meet a radiographer, standing tall in front of the x-ray room, and he'll tell you, mom, dad, my brother, my sister, come in. Mm -hmm. We'll attend to you. So we are asking also the public, when you are given requests to go and have these procedures, yes. go. You'll get people who will give you exemplary service. And they are trained, they are ready to work, to serve you with unmatched dignity. So that, that, that is primarily to you. clear the, the fear. <laughs> yeah, yes. I, I, I concur with you yeah. on that. Uh, um, Madam Victoria, you have something to add? to add. Mm -hmm. And just to appeal mm -hmm. to the hospitals and the, uh, the, I mean, the hospitals out there that are giving these services mm -hmm. to make sure that they get our trained uh, professionals. Please don't use a quack yes. because we have a problem with that. We have enough trained people. Mm -hmm. Every year, from, I mean now, KMTC actually churns out about 240 radiographers mm -hmm. ready, trained to work. So let's have people who are trained, people who have qualifications mm -hmm. to be able to give this service. And of course to the public, please come. Mm -hmm. That is the only way that you'll be able to know the inside. Yeah, because we yes. have uh, had uh, cases of uh, quacks who masquerade as uh, me medical professionals yes. and uh, exactly. they end up uh, putting uh, lives at risk. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, sure. No, exactly. So now this day, uh, the main purpose uh, is uh, to create awareness about uh, uh, radiographic imaging, the role of radiographers, uh, yes. uh, not just uh, during the pandemic, but even before beyond. and even beyond the, the pandemic. Uh, 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 era. Now, how else do you seek to create awareness uh, uh, on uh, illnesses, especially terminal illnesses, uh, cancer, and uh, other ailments that really depend on radiological diagnostic uh, and uh, therapeutic? Okay. I'd want to say. You can take that in the hospital. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to, yes, to say that. Uh, from the Mata Hospital, mm -hmm. we have um, regular screening, and I have talked about yearly screening on, in October for breast cancer, and then on, in November and mm -hmm. March, we mm -hmm. do for the prostate cancer screening. Mm -hmm. Those are free screening. And then we have reduced prices, and this month, mm -hmm. uh, this month of November, and even all the way from October, mm -hmm. we have actually reduced our prices by half. So that many people can be able to access. Mm -hmm. We have also created, create, we also create awareness through uh, going to companies that part, partner with us mm -hmm. and we educate their employees uh, about uh, cancer mm -hmm. awareness and other diseases mm -hmm. uh, like diabetes, like renal failure and all that. Mm -hmm. So this is an ongoing process throughout the hospital, I mean throughout the year the in year. the hospital. Mm -hmm. And then we also have wellness clinic where People who are not sick, they just come like uh, for service, like the way you take your car for service, mm -hmm. not because the car is uh, having a problem, but you come to check on yearly basis uh, so that you can see whether something is cropping up. Mm -hmm. And as my colleagues have mentioned earlier, to be able to treat cancer, because cancer once diagnosed early, it is not Akira, but when it is too late, it is Akira. So that is... Uh, what we are doing as a matter hospital. Mm -hmm. Thank yes. you so much. Yes, yes Thank you so Elizabeth. much, and that's mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. Just to say, in this celebration, mm -hmm. as we celebrate the World Radiography mm -hmm. Day, yes. countrywide, we actually have radiographers having activities. Yes. So again, to the public, please visit your nearest hospital mm -hmm. or service provider for this time, and I'm sure you'll get the services. And, um, of course, the talks, to just make sure that they understand what we do and how we do it. Thank you so much. And uh, now we cannot talk about uh, achievements without uh, mentioning the challenges that we go through. As we celebrate uh, uh, the milestones, we also need to know uh, the, the loopholes and how best we've been addressing them. Could you please uh, uh, share with us uh, some of these uh, shortcomings in the, the field of radiography and imaging? So, so, so th thank you, thank you, Liz, for that, because uh, as much as we've grown, mm -hmm. we're serving the public. And one of the biggest challenges we've had as an industry is the cost of healthcare. 
and this is because and, and, and we want to commend what NHIF has done mm -hmm. to, to help alleviate this by improving this. But they need to have people like radiographers in their board. Mm -hmm. Because then, for instance, I'll give an example in cancer treatment. And then NHIF will come in and say, you can only have two or one scan per year. Mm -hmm. And this person needs a number of them for follow-up throughout the treatment phase. So mm -hmm. we end up exposing these people. Mm -hmm. That is on the aspect of public. But professionally, because we are expected by the public and by the constitution to offer the highest attainable quality of health, mm -hmm. we have got a big challenge, regulation. Uh, we want to thank um, uh, Honorable Sabina Chege. She's done a tremendous job. And the health committee team on putting our radiography bill, and which is due for second reading, and we want to call on parliament. We are ask, actually asking, making it a clarion call to every Kenyan public mm -hmm. that for you to receive quality radiography practice, ask your MP. They are going for elections. Mm -hmm. They are saying they are having a health agenda. Ask them, what are you doing for radiography? Mm -hmm. So that tomorrow when I go to hospital, mm -hmm. I'm having trained people, that I'm going into a profession that's regulated. Mm -hmm. Make it a talk to them. Mm -hmm. Yes, they'll bring the handouts, they'll bring whatever they'll bring, but ask them, what are you doing about the radiography bill mm -hmm. sub sponsored by the Mm -hmm. uh, Honorable Sabina Chegam, the health committee in general, mm -hmm. because that is one of the challenges we have. The profession has grown to this level, but we don't have regulation. In the East African Common Market Protocol, we've helped Uganda, we've helped Tanzania, we've helped Rwanda. They have developed their own bills and regulation, but mm -hmm. Kenya hasn't. We go there for consultancy. So, so it's a, one of the biggest challenges that in healthcare, we are the only profession that is unregulated. Mm -hmm. So, so it, it, it makes us not able even to go ahead and say, so and so is a quack, so and so is this. And we're working with a lot of very dangerous radiation. Mm -hmm. that, that is a very concerning point, that the government rolled out managed equipment service mm -hmm. and it's unregulated. It's okay. mm -hmm. And that's when Honorable Sabina Chege and her team picked it up. We've worked together with her and many other legislatures. So, so it's something of concern and we are, we are pleading Mm -hmm. We are pleading with them that uh, as, as, as Parliament is resuming, let them fast track that bill. It's Thank very, you so very much, important. Mr. Mamati. Yeah. And I believe uh, the message will get to the right people. Yes, <laughs> yes. All right. So now, as uh, we wind up, because time is against us, it's yeah. quite a, 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 a broad subject. We yeah. can talk and talk until dusk. Yes. But uh, just as we wind up, uh, please, uh, I'll give you a few seconds as yes. you give your closing remarks. Uh, let me start uh, with. Uh, uh, <laughs> Madam Victoria, <laughs> let me yeah. start with you. Uh, give your closing remarks to yeah. our viewer and mm. uh, as we move on. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. First is to appeal to everyone who is in Nairobi mm -hmm. near Mata Hospital, please show up tomorrow mm -hmm. for the walk, for the screening, for the talk. Even if you're not coming for a, a procedure, mm -hmm. come and listen. You'll always come out with something and it's for us, mm -hmm. so please come for those in Nairobi. For those who are not in Nairobi, as I said, mm -hmm. in any facility near you, there will be a talk on radiology, on radiography mm -hmm. with our radiographers. And of course, the people of Kisumu, we want to say again, supported, our students supported by SOC are going to Kisumu, and they'll be there on Monday. So again, just walk in and have to listen to the talk. To be very educative. Thank you so uh, much. Thank you so much, uh, Madam uh, Victoria Otsula Koi. Thank you so much uh, for being with us today. And uh, Mr. Mamati, what's your final remark? So, my final remark number one, healthcare is a right. And therefore, it being a right, we need to give it to the best quality ever. And for it to be delivered at the best quality ever, we need regulations. We need uh, advocacy and we need awareness. Mm -hmm. Government has put in place into these uh, services in the country and we want people to go out and seek these services. Mm -hmm. Don't be scared. As a public, go there, you'll get radiographers who will serve you, who will serve you with a lot of commitment. Mm -hmm. I'm so proud of my colleagues. I'm so proud of my membership. Mm -hmm. They'll serve you with that much dignity. So that is the message we are sending to the public, that today as we celebrate World Radiography Day, we are celebrating even the radiographers who are sacrificing their time to be there to serve us. Absolutely. And of course, tomorrow, people have to come to matter. Mm -hmm. They need to come and feel this. Okay. The vibe, as people call it nowadays, let them come and feel it. Thank you yes. so much, uh, uh, Mr. Baraza Mamati. Uh, that's uh, quite uh, important. It's quite important to note that. And uh, maybe... Uh,
Uh, as you give your final remark uh, or your closing remark, uh, Madam Elizabeth, uh, I would like you to uh, tie it up with a message to those who will be unable to attend uh, that event uh, physically tomorrow. Thank you, Elizabeth. Viewers, I want to really appreciate you for having time to listen to us. And my parting shot is that tomorrow all the roads lead to Mata Hospital to give you awareness of diseases like uh, cancer of the prostate and breast and other things. Radiology department at the Mata Hospital is well equipped and I would want to say that we have not been left behind in providing quality of healthcare across the hospital but in particular in radiology we have advanced equipment, CT scan, 128 slices, not the lower version but high end. <laughs> we also have, uh, do, I say? <laughs> do I say, we also have uh, uh, an MRI, we have cath we, we are we, we, we are actually the biggest uh, cardiac center in this region mm -hmm. and, uh, and basically Mata Radiology will give you everything and Mata Hospital and as a hospital we are participating in providing quality health care in this country mm -hmm. and, uh, and actually helping in the safe lives. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much yes. uh, Madam Elizabeth Maswili yes. uh, for that initiative. Mm -hmm. it, it's quite commendable mm -hmm. and uh, I would like to thank the three of you for making time uh, for this show to talk about uh, this important day uh, to the public to enlighten them and continue to create uh, awareness uh, on uh, different aspects of radiography and imaging. So thank you so much and uh, may God bless you. All right dear viewer, uh, we are uh, coming to an end, we are wrapping up, so I'd like to thank all of you who took time to follow us and keep us company. Uh, we were just seeking to find out what is it that you appreciate or uh, you feel that is uh, not done well so that we can talk to the experts, uh, to uh, the concerned authorities to improve on that. You can keep your questions and feedback coming. We will make sure that we get the right people to respond to them and as we finalize that, uh, Mm, we have George Go George Goko says great job seniors and happy world's radiography day happy world's radiography day to you too Goko we have Chebet Purity tuned in from Kericho good work team thank you Chebet and we also have uh, Kosgei Cleave tuned in from Kericho thank you so much you mentioned the Kericho <laughs> you go to visit that place it's one of the cleanest yeah, actually yeah, sure. it's, 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 I wish you had planned something an activity in Kericho but <laughs> no, 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 definitely, definitely. yeah there's always time uh, and yes. there's always next time so I'd like to thank you all and uh, before we go offline before the red light stops glinting. I'd like to appreciate uh, the team behind. Allow me to recognize the presence of uh, the team from Society of Radiography in Kenya. That is uh, uh, the ones, uh, uh, the one who is here, Mr. Anthony Baraza Mamati. He is the former president of uh, the Society of Radiography in Kenya and a health economist. We also uh, have Mrs. Victoria Otsula Koi. The, it's a time. <laughs> Let me be careful not to bite my tongue. So he is, she is the HOD of radiography and imaging at Kenya Medical Training College. We also have uh, Mrs. Elizabeth Maswili. She is uh, the manager, uh, radiology manager at Mata Mr. Cordia Hospital. We have uh, Mr. Jeffers Kenyanya. He is the current president of the Society of Radiography in Kenya, and he is also a senior uh, radiographer at Kenyatta National Hospital. We also like to appreciate the presence of Mr. Samuel Karanja. He is the honorary secretary of the Society of Radiography in Kenya. Allow, allow me also to thank or appreciate the presence of Mrs. Uh, Ogama Medlin uh, from uh, the Mata Misericordia Hospital uh, marketing team and of course uh, at Capuchin we also have people working behind the scenes. I had my camera person uh, Christopher Odiambo, our visual mixer, Vincent uh, uh, Muriuki, assisted by Christopher Odiambo. Uh, our sound engineer has been Frederick Ocheng, a.k.a. DJ Fredox. And uh, as usual, <laughs> in our transmission desk, we have uh, uh, Peter Mwangi himself. Thank you guys for your concerted efforts, and thank you, Sister 
Karara, our administrator, uh, Teresa Karara, and the entire team. So we would like uh, together on behalf of everyone to wish you a great and uh, peaceful uh, World Radiography Day. Wow. So thank you so much. May God bless you. And uh, I would like to reiterate my favorite, uh, uh, my favorite, uh, how do I say, quote in the health that uh, it is health that is real wealth, not yes. pieces of gold or silver. Yes. That was Amen. Mahatma Gandhi's quote. Mm. Yes. Thank you so much. See you next time. My name is Sasha Elizabeth. Goodbye. Capuchin TV, Kitambulisho Katoliki. Welcome to Matamis Recordia Hospital, Buru Buru Clinic for Holistic Medical Services. This is Buru Buru Medical Center, which is part of Mata Hospital. And uh, at Buru Buru, we essentially offer services offered in Mata Hospital. We are located in the first floor filling building above Peak Mat. In Buru Buru, we have general consultation Monday to Friday. Saturday and Sunday, they are still available. We still have specialists. On Tuesday and Thursday, we have our gynecology clinics running uh, from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. We have a pediatrician clinic running at, on Wednesday at 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. We normally have a wellness, which we normally do from Monday to Sunday. Every day, feel welcome, you can come. Experience the difference in our wide range of quality, responsive and compassionate healthcare services. We have very highly skilled and qualified staff running the units. Uh, we offer services including uh, doctor's consultation services, uh, which is a general doctor in the uh, outpatient unit. You, we also have laboratory services and uh, pharmacy services. On uh, particular days of the week, we have uh, specialized clinics, which include the physician clinic, where we have our hypertension and uh, diabetes patients followed up. And then uh, we also have the obstetric gynecology clinic, which is run on Tuesdays and on Thursdays. We have the pediatric clinic, which is run on Wednesdays. And then we also have the ENT clinic, where we have the ENT doctor coming in, and uh, that is run on Fridays in the morning. There is also a pediatric surgery clinic, which is also on Fridays. Our child welfare, we normally do them on Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. We have our ENT clinic Friday, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. We normally have nutrition services on Tuesday to Thursday, and we have extended our radiology services from Monday to Friday to Saturday nowadays. Initially, we were running up to Friday but currently going up to Saturday. We deliver all our services with utmost diligence, integrity and equality. We see everyone at the Buruburu branch. We do not discriminate against everyone, anyone, either on race, on religious grounds, or disabled people. You are all welcome to receive services at our branch. Be assured of privacy. We normally keep to our ethics. We are so compassionate to our clients integrity is all over so when you come we feel you and that is why you can see nowadays we are running like every friday we are having a special clinic currently we are running the breast clinic next month we are coming up with fear colon screening so don't forget we are christ centered when you come and we don't segregate because you are a christian or a muslim or hindu we treat every client as equal as any other.